Uh, speaking of teams that are gearing up for the playoffs, it, it looks like a little rivalry is, is building. We saw the Clippers, uh, who were resting Kawhi yesterday, found a way to beat Portland somehow because Kawhi didn't play. Paul George sat most of the fourth quarter. Pat Bev was out. Montrez Harrell didn't play. But their backups got it done, and they found a way to win. After the game, there's a little bit of chirping back and forth. And then I, I want to set the table for the people as well because during the game, Dame Lillard misses two free throws in the final seconds that would have given Portland that could have given Portland the lead. And after he misses the second one, Pat Bev points at his wrist, you know, mocking Dame time, and they're laughing about it. After the game, Dame Lillard says to a reporter, um, "You know, it's all it's all good. I've eliminated Pat Bev before in the playoffs. I've I eliminated Paul George last year in the playoffs. So they feeling good about themselves right now." Which in turn, uh, Paul George responded, "But you going home this year?" Laugh out loud. And then uh, Dame Litter shot back and said, "You out here, uh, you guys out here cheating the grind by by basically forming up together. You guys are chumps." Uh, what are your thoughts on this situation? Because I, I thought it was very amusing and entertaining, especially again since we're talking about two teams that could be facing off in the playoffs. I love it. The only thing is. I don't think we're going to get that matchup in the playoffs uh, just because I don't see Portland getting past the Lakers in the first round. And it's pretty much um, a wrap as far as them getting into seventh place to play um, the Clippers in the first round. Cause I think Dallas is going to wind up being the, uh, the seventh seed, but I would have loved to see it. And, and, and I'm actually, I'm, I'm with Dame on this one. Um, I mean, come on, like, but Pat Bev, it's like, bro, like, all right, you, you just brought over Giannis. I mean, excuse me, you just brought over Kawhi and Paul George to your team, and you guys haven't won anything yet. Let's be, let's be clear, you haven't won anything. And Dame has taken you out before, and not only did he take Paul George out last year, he hit him with a step back three at the buzzer to win the series. And, 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 and Paul George is supposed to be one of the top wing defenders in the league, and I'm talking about. It was an embarrassing game winner over Paul George. So you should have a little bit more humility when talking to Dame Dash. You should put a little bit more respect on his name because he definitely hit you with the hee 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 haw step back on a three on that one and, and won the series on you, bro. Like, you got to show and prove. And, you know, let's be real. What has Paul George really done in the playoffs? He hasn't really shown and proven in the playoffs. He didn't. He didn't play well last year. You want to chalk it up to the injury in OKC, the, um, the shoulder, whatever it was. He didn't, but he didn't play well. All them years in 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 Indiana, what did he really do in the playoffs? Like, how did was he in the conference finals? Did he make it to a finals? Was he getting was he getting stopped by LeBron pretty much at every every turn? So he has to do a lot more showing and proving. Dame has been to a Western Conference Finals, you know, recently. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, you know, they ran into the roadblock that's Golden Golden State. But you got to put a lot of respect on on, on Dame's name. So I'm, I'm with Dame on this one. Nah, I like it both ways. I mean, um, as you mentioned, quote unquote, playoff P, uh, PG-13. He recently has not played well in the playoffs. I, I believe 2014 and 2015, him and LeBron had some really good battles in the East. Um, one time when LeBron was his last season in Miami and then LeBron's first year in Cleveland, they had a really good battle in the playoffs. But um, other than that, he struggled. As you mentioned, he struggled, you know, his his two seasons in, in OKC. He hasn't really shown it yet when the playoffs and when it really matters. Um, and in regards to Pat Bev, I like it from his standpoint because that's the swagger you're supposed to have. You know, if you're the Clippers, their mindset has to be, Bro, we were in the playoffs last year and we went six games with that Warrior team that everybody knows was a juggernaut. And we didn't have Kawhi Leonard. We didn't have Paul George. We didn't have Marcus Morris. We didn't have, uh, you know, Reggie Jackson. Their team has massively upgraded from last year. So you're supposed to have that, that notch on your shoulder and feel like, look, if you're talking about the West, you only talking about LA and either you're talking about the Lakers or the Clippers. So I like it from that standpoint. But you're right. They've got to put respect on Dame's name. Everybody's got to put respect on Dame's name because aside from that juggernaut in Golden State, aside from LeBron, who just went to the West, obviously, and aside from San Antonio, who I don't – they've faced off with them early in Dame's career. I don't think there's a team in the West that Dame hasn't knocked off in the playoffs. 
they knocked off Harden and the Rockets, and that's that's the series he's talking about with Pat Bev. He's knocked off Westbrook before. Obviously, Paul George is on that team. He's knocked off Utah before. Anybody else in the West, Dan and them have pretty much knocked them off. It's just they can't get over the major hurdles of the bigger teams and the best team that's been in the West for the last five years, which was the Golden State Warriors. But for him to go to the Western Conference Finals last year when they didn't have Nurkic, when it was really him and just uh, CJ balling out, I mean, is, is a high accomplishment for a team that was expected to get him out in the first round. And let's not forget, he also eliminated Anthony Davis in the playoffs last year, too. So anybody in the West that Dame has faced that wasn't in Golden State, they knocked him off. Um, you know what I'm saying? They knocked those guys off. And I think this year, I don't know if they will face off. Um, again, I think you and I are in agreement that we expect the Lakers to beat Portland in a first round series. Mm-hmm. But I think it still sets the stage. Dame and those guys are hot right now. And they're playing with a chip on their shoulder as well. They're, they're one of those scary teams that by seed, yes, they're an eighth seed, but we know by talent, they're actually one of the better teams in the Western Conference now that they're fairly healthy with Nurkic, which, with Collins, with Melo playing the way he's been playing for them. And Gary Trent Jr. has been balling out of control over there um, during, in the bubble. So they're a scary team, man. And I, I think everybody, not just the Clippers, I think everybody needs to put a little more respect on this Portland team. Yeah, no, definitely. And if you, if you, uh, if you, if you think about it, you know, maybe, maybe them having Nurkic last year in the Western Conference Finals, maybe they get to the finals. Who knows? Because we're talking about, you know, Golden State without Kevin Durant at that point. So maybe they actually do. Somebody out there, oh, I forget which show I was watching, but they were talking about it. And they were saying, uh, if, if you put Dame in the East, the only player that, w- that you probably say clearly is better than him is Giannis. And that's it. So you might need to take a trip over to the east side. I was talking about some trades um, a couple of weeks ago, but maybe maybe they might have to consider doing the Ben Simmons for Damon Lillard swap. Throw him in, throw him in the east, throw him in Philly with uh, Joel Embiid and Tobias Harris. You might see him in the finals, you know? But yeah. yeah I, Go ahead. No, no, no. Yeah, I, I think we need to have a serious conversation about where Dame lies within the top five, top ten in the league because – the location of where he plays, um, along with the team that hasn't been in the finals, he gets overlooked. But I, I would be hard-pressed to, to name five guys that are probably better than him. He is the real deal. And I know Steph Curry is still considered the, the better player of the two. But Dame, Dame has kind of closed that gap because Dame is more athletic. Dame has the same range on his three-point shot. I think Dame is, is a, probably a better defensive player than Steph is as well. Um, so I think he's closed that gap. But you're right. If he played in the East, if he played in a bigger city, played in a bigger market, there would be all this praise for him because we would be looking at a guy who, who would probably be in the MVP voting every year, but he plays in a small market. Um, and again, because he's in the West and he's never going to be the top seed in the West, they're never going to win 50 plus games in the West. He gets overlooked by other guys who I think he's better than. Good. Misfit, Murder Ave Gang, we in the building. Make sure y'all check out my last battle, Fire, Always Bodies. After that, check out Real Fans, Real Talk.